Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's going to be a lot of fun because we are going to create this calendar dimension table from scratch. We will be creating a 50 years of data in this calendar table. If you see, it is starting from 1st January 2000 till 31st December 2050. So we will create 50 years of calendar tables. You can obviously create 100 years or 500 years of table uh, as per your requirement using the same script. Uh, we will be creating all these columns, right? Uh, you can add more columns if you want, but logic will remain same anyway. Okay. So this calendar dimension table is very, very useful in your data warehousing, right? Because this is one of the main dimension table, which you can use in all of your fact tables. So most of your fact tables where you have date columns, for example, if you have order date, right? So instead of order date, maybe you can keep this ID. So this is a primary key of this table or surrogate key. It is just a running number. That's it, right? So for example, if an order is placed on 30 uh, on 3rd January 2000. So instead of keeping this order date, you can keep this ID three. The advantage you will get is so if you want all the date information, you can just join with this three from your fact table to this dimension table and you will get all the data, right? So you, uh, if you don't have, let's say you have an order date in your table, then if you want year from it, or you want the month name, then you will have to use date functions. Every time you have to do some analysis, right? Instead of that, if you keep this as key in your fact table, you can just join with it and get all of the data. Apart from this use case, there are a lot of other use cases as well. We can solve many complex SQL problems very easily using dimension table, this calendar dimension table. And in future, I will solve a lot of questions on my YouTube channel where I will use this table. Okay. So if you are a follower of my YouTube channel, do create this table in your system so that in future videos, you can just follow along with me. Okay. Also, this is a great opportunity to learn all the date functions. So we will be using a lot of date functions to drive all of these. So it will be a quick revision of the date functions as well. Okay. With that, let's get started. Okay. So what we will do first is we will pick one date. So we have to pick date from where we have to start our calendar. So in my case, we have to start from 1-1-2000. You can start from any other date in the past as well or in the future. It depends on you, right? So let's say I want to start from it. So I will drive all of these columns first for one day, only for this date. And then we will see how we can replicate it for all the 50 years of data. So I'll say select. This will be hard coded, right? Because this is a starting point. So I have to give some starting point. Also, this has to be a date column, right? We will come to this column later because it is just a running number, but we will start from calendar date and I will say as date. I'm going to cast it as date because I want it as a date column. If I just pick this, then it come as a string column, where column. I want it as a date. So I will say cast as date as calendar date, right? Similarly, if I want year, right? So if I want year, I have to use date part function, right? Date part function, I will say, give me year from this date, right? From this date as calendar year, right? Now, if I run this, what will happen? If you see, I get the, these two columns. I, I'm not using any table here, right? No from, just I want these two things. I've, these, these values are hard coded. We are not fetching any column as such. So we can use as it is, right? So we got these two, right? Similarly, we need to drive all the columns that I want for this date. I already have the script ready. So I'll just copy this and explain you quickly. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to run this. So if I run this, you see, I got all the columns, right? Now, typically we are using most of the date part function, date part, date part, but two places we are using date name function. So I want month name, I want the weekday name. So month name is January and this name is Saturday, right? So this is how we want. Other columns are like calendar date is there. It is typically the date, then the year, then year of the day, right? Which year it is, then quarter. This will be the first quarter. This is the first day of the month. If it is 30th January, it will be 30th, right? Calendar month. Then it is month name, then month day. What is the, oh, this is the calendar month. So if it is January, it is one. If it is February, it is two. Calendar month day will be one, two, three, four, five till 30 or 31st, whatever number of days we have. Then week, 
then weekday right saturday is 7 sunday will be 1 right likewise i'll show you when when we do a full table okay so these are all the columns now what i am going to do is i have to replicate it for the next 50 years right for that let me explain you quickly the ct the recursive ct and then how we can use it to drive the 50 years of data so i'll just create a ct with ct as select one as id union all select id plus 1 as id from ct right where id is less than 10 okay i'll i'll, I'll explain you what i'm doing select star from ct right so if you see if i run this quickly if you are aware of the recursive ct it will be clear if not then what we are doing we are creating a recursive ct which means we have to have a union all right and the first select query first select query is a anchor element which means this will run only once so we will get one from this query in the next iteration this query will run if you see this query is referring to this ct itself right this you don't see normally right because once this ct is created then you can use in next ct or query but here we are using within the ct that's why it is called recursive ct right so we will pick this one and then one plus one will be two and is this id less than 10 is one less than 10 yes so this will run and give me two in the next iteration now the id will become two the id two value will be used and we will see two is less than 10 yes two plus one three and we will get three and so on till id is nine nine is less than 10 nine plus one ten so we will get ten the moment it is ten in the next iteration it will come out so this where condition is important because if i don't give it it will be like infinite loop like a, because there is no end right i am not giving any where condition so it will say that max recursion limit 100 has been exhausted so that will be the problem so we have to give some limit right apart from this let's say i am giving 200 so if you see it is saying max recursion is 100 now if i run if i want to generate number from 1 to 200 again there will be a problem because the max recursion limit is 100 by default but you can change that limit you can say option and max recursion let's say 32000 there is some limit actually 676 i think this is the maximum you can have number of recursion number of loops so let me give this and let's do this and we are fine now there is no issue we have generated from 1 to 2 right now let's put data here to to create the calendar table so what i will do i am going to copy this for two rows for now only two columns sorry and then we will replicate it for all the columns so that it will be easy to explain so what i will do i'll put this so this is my anchor element if you see right the first element i am going to start with this now what i have to do in the next step i have to add date one by one right for first january second january third january now here id plus 1 i did but here i can't do just calendar date plus 1 because it is a date column right so i can't do this so i have to use date add function so i will say date add add a day how many one day to calendar date right and let's close this as calendar date right so this is done right now for the next column again i have to add one date and then get the year out of it so instead of this i will say add a date right and then get date out of it right so i will add one day to this date right and then get the year similarly for the next iteration again it will add one date and get the year and so on and so forth so instead of id again i have to give calendar date so let's say i want to do it for 10 days only so i'll say give me till 10th i'll do for 50 years so just to explain okay and that's it i think it should work so let's run it so this is done we are getting 10 year, 10 days of data now what i will do i'll just take all the columns so these are all the columns right now what i have to do instead of this i have to say date at calendar date because i have to add 1111 so again i have created a script let me copy this and where condition also i am copying so let's do this 
okay so this is all we need we i have added all the columns and just added one day to calendar date and same formula i am using that's it and i am doing it till 31st december right the last element we don't have to give like for id also i give id less than 10 because last one will be 10 right so similarly i have to say this and that's it i think now do two more things we have to take care of one thing is if you remember we have a row number column right so i have to say row underscore number that id column the primary key okay over order by calendar date right and by default it will be ascending so i don't have to give it but i'm just giving it okay so this is my calendar date and comma star city right now i have to create a table out of it this will give me just the output so what i will say i will say into a table name so calendar dim new i'm just giving some table name you you can give the proper name because i do i already have a calendar dimension table i'm not giving this so i will do this right i think that's it anything else we need to do uh, no that's it okay so let's run this let's run this it says 18628 rows affected and let's quickly check our dimension table start from this and our table is created okay i have given the column name as rn please give it as id so i'll give id and create the table again drop table so let's drop it and create it again rn column name doesn't look good it should be id or calendar id you can say anything right select star from or calendar key column is also fine but rn is definitely not good so id column is there i think we have to do order by id okay you can do order by id here itself so that in your table it it comes it comes in a uh, order by format starting from one okay so one till uh, we have 2050 if you see if you see calendar week for saturday it is seven for sunday it is one for monday it is two right this is calendar week this is month day like 31st day of the month so 31st 27 similar right and this is the calendar year day till what day so if it is last day it will be accordingly the last day of the year so if you see 365 right so this is very nicely created table very easy way i'll put this script in description box so that you can directly use it but make sure you understand how it works please do like the video share the videos and let me know in the comment section how you like the approach or if you have a better approach uh, thanks a lot for watching have a good day bye bye